Happy New Year my dear friends, I am Mr23 and in the first video of 2024 we are breaking down the differences and revealing the strengths and weaknesses of various selection methods. Keep watching to see which selection method is the best. Lasso tool. The lasso tool is a versatile selection method that allows you to make freehand selections in your images. The lasso tool comes in three variations. The standard lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. Advantages Those tools are quick and intuitive, especially in situations where precision is needed. Limitations In areas with low contrast, it may struggle to create accurate selections, while versatile, the lasso tool may not be the best choice for selecting involving high, complex or intricate shapes, where other tools like pen tool might be more suitable. Color range Color range is a tool that allows you to make selections based on specific color ranges within an image. Advantages Color range permits the creation of multiple color selections within the same image, offering flexibility in editing. It can be quicker than manually selecting colors using other tools. Limitations It may not capture fine details or subtle color variations, especially in areas where colors are mixed or gradients. Select Subject Select Subject is a powerful tool that uses Adobe's Sensei AI technology to automatically select the main subject in an image. It's really quick and convenient way to start your selection process, especially when dealing with images containing a clear subject. Advantages It saves time by providing a quick initial selection. It uses AI technology for intelligent subject recognition. Limitations may not be as accurate for images with multiple overlapping subjects or intricate details. Refinement may be necessary for complex selections. Pen tool For precision and control there is nothing like the pen tool. It's a bit more advanced but offers unparalleled accuracy. Perfect for complex shapes and curves, the pen tool is a must learn for anyone serious about Photoshop. Advantages if you want to have access to the full tutorials, join my Patreon account now. You will unlock access to the monthly assignments where I will give you really valuable feedback. You will gain access also to stock images, brushes and you will be a part of a growing community that wants to evolve. Pen tool allows for incredibly precise and accurate selections and paths. It's particularly useful for creating smooth curves and detailed shapes. Paths created with a pen tool are vector based, which means they can be scaled to any size without loss of quality. Limitations Some beginners find the pen tool less intuitive compared with other tools like lasso or magic wand. It requires practice to become comfortable with its functions. The pen tool is not the best choice for quick and rough selections. For those tools like quick selection or magic wand may be more suitable. Magic wand tool the magic wand tool is a quick and efficient way to make selections based on color similarity. Advantages The magic wand tool is fast and convenient for making selections, especially in images with areas of solid color or high contrast. The tool is easy to use, making it accessible for beginners. You simply click on a pixel and the tool selects the nearby pixels with similar colors. Limitations the Magic Wand tool is limited to selecting pixels based on color, which may not be suitable for images with subtle color variations or complex textures. In images with subtle color variations or gradients, the Magic Wand may struggle to distinguish between similar colors, leading to incomplete selections. Channels Using channels for selection is a powerful technique that involves leveraging the individual color channels like red, green and blue to isolate and create selections based on luminance or color information. Advantages Channels allow for precise selection of intricate details such as hair or complex texture by isolating luminance or color information. Limitations the concept of channels and the process of creating selections from them can be complex for beginners. It may take time to grasp and master. Creating selections through channels can be time consuming, especially for images with complex structures or numerous details. Blend if 
Blend if is a feature that allows you to blend the pixels of one layer with the pixels of another layer based on laminance values. It provides a way to control the visibility of pixels on a layer based on the brightness levels of the underlying or overlapping layers. Advantages Blend if adjustments are non-destructive, allowing experimentation without permanently altering the original image data, allows for smooth transitions between different elements in a composition. Limitations Extreme adjustments may lead to visible bending or artifacts, particularly in smooth gradients. Achieving the desired effect often requires manually tweaking, which can be time-consuming. Quick Mask Mode Quick Mask Mode is a temporary way to create and edit selections using a red overlay. Advantages Quick Mask provides visual feedback with a red overlay making it easy to see the areas being selected or masked. Changes made in Quick Mask Mode are non-destructive, allowing for flexible adjustments before finalizing the selection. It can be easily integrated with a brush tool, enabling precise and customized selections using brush strokes. Limitations Creating precise selection in quick mask mode may require a steady hand, especially for detailed areas. Users may find themselves frequently switching between quick mask mode and standard mode to refine selections, which can disrupt the workflow. Quick mask mode may not handle semi-transparent or translucent elements as good as other selection methods. If you watched the video so far to see which method is the best, the answer is really easy. They are all really really good, or they are all bad depending on each scenario. You must know as many as you can so you can adapt or combine them to achieve the best selection. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and let me know in the comments which selection method do you think is the best for you.